Hey guys, thanks for visiting me. I know that we are well into the winter, but I just have a few of my favorite winter um, items that I like to share with you. A lot has to do with skin and hair. So let's jump into it. First, I wanted to talk about just like what I put into my body that's really helping my sensitive skin in this weather. Um, I live in the South and I always say that the weather goes jumps from being 40 degrees to like 60 degrees like literally um this week it's been in the 40s yeah in the 40s i would say and this weekend it's like 63 degrees sunny and it's beautiful outside so what do i do to help my skin stay balanced when the weather is unbalanced i take um probiotic supplements um this is a generic brand it's called acuflora i got this from target and I'm telling you, it's the best. I actually went to Ulta and there was a skin specialist there. And I was just like looking for a new, um, a new foundation. And I just was like, you know, I tend to break out into little, little, just, I don't, I wouldn't say acne. It's just irritation bumps. I don't know if you guys get that on your skin as well, but it's just my, my pH balance is, is way off and, other things that are way off and it, it, it does contribute um to the weather so she said take probiotics i'm not gonna just be like oh take probiotics she told me to take pro i have to research it for myself and when i tell you i read a, a lot about um probiotics on the internet and um also asked a dermatologist what she thought and she said yeah it, they have a lot of benefits and you could also she told me also that you can get it naturally from foods that you eat like yogurt and um taking fish oil supplements as well so it has um it may help replenish beneficial bacteria for up to 12 hours i take um two um supplements a day and it really really helps um with my skin and all that stuff so i really really like this and it also helps with um bloat as well like let me show you guys like usually excuse my belt but my tights are just like they don't fit but anyway i usually have like this little pudge like on the bottom excuse my undershirt but yeah you still have this little pudge and like look like no pudge like i love it it really helps with that and yeah it also you know your skin can break out and it could be um because you're not taking in a, a lot of water um yeah it could do to a lot of things so probiotics definitely helps my skin during the winter months um i love it and i'm gonna continue to take it in the winter time and see if i get any benefits from that as well so love it next um is something that i put on my skin as well this is old school it is the good old cocoa butter stick how long have ago have you guys seen this i mean i use this on my skin because actually i had to remember like oh my gosh let me go back to the simpler days when i was younger and what did i use on my skin and i remember because i was always getting to some freak accident always hurting myself i always had a busted lip um there was at one point i was always busting my lip it was, I was just a crazy kid and at one point in my childhood like I got into a really bad bike accident and just like this whole side of my face was scarred like it was just it went from flesh to being like I had like second degree burns on the right side of my face it was horrific but I remember my mom always putting cocoa butter onto my skin and it cleared up just like that so I use um I've been using cocoa butter um not my whole face because it tends to be very oily and I only use it at night I was starting to get um moles um I wouldn't say moles I would just say they were dark spots um I don't know if you could tell but I have one on my forehead now actually two on my forehead but it was more and I had a scar here it was an acne scar actually and I just have a few dark spots like on my um, neck and just random spots. I know that um, 
darker skin girls tend to have um, darker pigment skin on different parts of their face. I don't consider myself dark skin, but I am a brown skin girl. So sometimes I have discoloration in certain parts and I that makes me feel insecure sometimes. So I was like, man, what can I use? So I've been using this cocoa butter stick and I just apply it in, onto the affected area um, every night. Of course, I wash my face before I do it. And I don't, again, I don't apply it on my whole face because it can clog up your pores. Maybe it could cause, you know, a pimple here or there. But so far, like, it's been amazing. And I feel more confident going out without makeup on because my dark spots aren't ridiculously, you know, out there. So I love cocoa butter. My next, um item that I must have for this winter has to be, I know it's in an unmarked bottle, but castor oil. Oh my gosh, this has saved my life this winter. I've been suffering from excessive dry hair. Like seriously, it's been super dry, especially since I've been blow drying it a lot lately, um, which I don't recommend natural hair girls. I know it's really bad, but I'm just, I'm just so sick of having to do my hair. Um, I've been doing a lot of protective stylings with curls and stuff like that, but I just find it so easy to just plop it up in a bun like this or a ponytail lately because I'm just always, I've been really busy lately, but when things start to slow down, I will go back to doing it right. But castor oil really, really helps my hair. I did a um, oil, a hot oil treatment with it last night and my hair is like super shiny and soft when um so this is what i did i basically while my hair was dry i just applied the castor oil onto the root of my hair into onto the shaft as well and massaged it for a good i was in there for five minutes and like just watching the movie and just massaging my scalp i um put on a shower cap then um a hair scarf and i just left that on for a good three and a half hours just like went around the house and did whatever um i even went to the store with my hair scarf on trust me i didn't look ratchet but i went to the store and i just left the hot oil treatment in there and then rinsed it out in the shower and did my co-wash um then i sealed it with coconut oil and like just rinsed it out you guys know that i love coconut oil because i talk about it all the time so that's nothing new um i use it all year round but castor oil is something new um, this is actually from the island of Haiti. My dad went to Haiti and he brought back like a huge bottle of castor oil, aka l'huile masquette for all my Haitians out there. So I really recommend castor oil. It really replenishes your hair. Um, it also you also get some health benefits from castor oil. It's good for your skin. It's good to um grow your eyebrows back, girls. Um, and some other benefits. But I know that they're um their benefits for um for skin as well um i don't recommend putting castor oil because the smell is so strong during the day just like as a hairdress um i don't recommend it it's really strong and it's really thick so i just recommend it for hot oil treatment haitians use this on everything like you can cure cancer with luden mascotu to a haitian seriously but yeah i recommend some castor oil and then lastly for my hair this has been my holy of all holy sacred hair dress. Like recently, I usually do coconut oil, but sometimes my scalp gets tired of the coconut oil. So I've been using Cantu Shea Butter um, Grow Strong Straightening Treatment. Um, you could use this in different ways. You can do it as a daily styling um or pre or post chemical treatment for all you girls that have chemical treatments is good for relaxed natural texturized color or permed hair um it's 100 percent pure shea butter and i could tell because um you can see the little bit of the oil because it's been sitting in there for a while but it's so good it smells yummy and i put this onto my scalp after i have dried my hair blow dried my hair and all that stuff i just apply this to my scalp in moist and just massage it i'm telling you guys by using my castor oil and this cantu shea butter grow strong i have grown probably a half uh i would yeah like an inch or two of hair in the past two months seriously 
yeah, I really recommend those items. They're really good for my skin. I've been experiencing just clear. My pores are beautiful. My hair is shiny and strong. So I really recommend those four items. And I want to know if you try them out. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment box below. I'm also currently editing um, my favorite winter lookbook. So my favorite items for the winter lookbook, whatever. Um, I'll be posting that soon, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.